Salesforce CRM full training tutorial for beginners. Hello guys, Sadia here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we use Salesforce CRM. Basically it's pretty easy, just follow the steps I do to not make any mistakes. So as you can see Salesforce is a company which provides us a lot of different products but today we are going to speak about their like CRM. Basically, it's pretty easy to use, so in order to get started, we need to visit salesforce.com and after that, just click on try for free in the right top corner to start our registration. So let's input our like uh, questions here. Let's import our first name, last name, job title, let it be like CEO. Of course, you need to input the suitable one. What are your employees? So 1 to 20 company, let it be like helper and please your region, let it be basically it doesn't matter, Canada. What is the state? Let it be like this one. Next. What's your phone? I'll input phone which does not exist and what is your like email? Let it be like so when we'll verify our email, we'll continue to creating our account. Here we need to set our password. And what's our security question? We need to input the answer where we were born. So basically let it be like, like this one. So change password. And now everything is done. Our account was successfully created. We can save it with our Google and we'll come to the page of CRM using. So as you can see now it has a lot of like options to get the tutorial. I'm newbie, yes, next. And basically let's skip it. So now we are on CRM page and what can we do here? In the top of the screen we have our search to find like leads, actions, accounts, uh, deals and so on. So this is of how can we do all the search. In the top of the screen we also have like our menu, like home, leads, accounts, contacts, opportunities, cases, tasks, calendar, reports and dashboard. On the home page we have all the analytics about our CRM like all pipeline, current year, potential revenue source, like today's event, today's tasks and so on. So we can customize it by clicking on somewhere here, adding some uh, stuff here. Basically from this option with plus, we can add some global actions like new event, new task, new contact and so on. So if we'll go to lead page, we can find all of our leads here in this like a spreadsheet. We will have like name, title, company, phone, mobile, email, lead and so on. In order to create new lead, we need to use this menu in the right side. So we need to click on new and then just fill all the information about our new lead. So like name, like um, company, lead status, email, all the data you have, you need to fill right up here. If we'll scroll down, we also have like address information, additional information, description information. So the more data you have, the better you will deal with this deal. We also have the option to import our deals from other companies or individuals. So we can import them from spreadsheet or some other stuff. We can also add the campaign here and we can also change the status or change the owner. So in order to do this, we need to select our leads from our spreadsheet and then just use it. So we also have some settings and we also have the option to display it not in a table view, like in a Kanban or like in a split view. You can also like refresh option and edit option. In accounts area, these themes are quite the same. So this is where how can we deal with accounts. We can add or uh, we can just import them from the different like CSV file or from other stuff. If we click on you, all we need to do is just to simply fill uh, all the data we like want to add for our account. 
phone, fax, account name, parent account, and so on. Like additional information here. The more information you have, the better, you know. Uh, contacts with our contacts area. The navigation is quite the same. So we can just click on new, import, edit campaign, send list, email. So if you need to send, you can do it from here. Like new, display as, and so on. Also, there is like opportunities here. So in order to do this, uh, opportunity name, like national park gear, account name, national park gear, stage, qualification, close date, and so on. So all the opportunities will be right up here. We can click on new and add new opportunity just to fulfill all the information, close date, stage, opportunity name, account name, and so on. So this is a way of how can we deal with opportunities. We can just uh, go to settings, change the view. In cases area, the navigation is quite the same, so we can work. Uh, what is more interesting is that if you go to leads, for example, or go to like contact somewhere here, we can f click on any single, you know, uh, part here and we'll go to page with all the information about our object we are clicking. So for example, for opportunities, we have like all the information with probability, with amount. So if it's not necessary for you to find all the information about somebody, we need to go just click on it on this suitable folder. On the tasks, we can add some tasks to organize our work with our team to not like have any gaps. In calendar, the same, we can just plan something or do some other stuff and reports from our team, which is pretty cool. So we can just find all the reports created by me, private reports, public reports, all, all reports, all are here. So on our dashboard, what can we find? The same. So if you'll like, you know, uh, speak about the prices, they have a lot of different plans here like $25 per month, $75 or $150. If you're interested, uh, you can just start from trial and then just continue with the most suitable one as for you. So you can find the details here and find the differences to recognize what is like the most suitable part as for you and what would you like to use by yourself. So after that, it will be easy for you to, you know, get started with fresh sales so basically that's all for this CRM. hope this video helped you out if it is please leave a like comment and subscribe i wish you a very good day goodbye